Today I am going to cover one of the most requested video tutorial in my channel and that is brown sugar syrup. So in a previous video I showed you how to make three different types of brown sugar syrup. The simple sugar syrup, the concentrated sugar syrup and the thicker version of the brown sugar syrup which is what is commonly used in a lot of milk tea drinks at this time. Today I am going to focus on only one of them that is making the thicker version of the brown sugar syrup. Now some of you have asked me why is it that when they make the brown sugar syrup it crystallizes in the end so you don't get the consistency that you are looking for. Some of you ask what about if we don't have access to muscovado sugar. So this time I am going to replace the muscovado sugar with regular white sugar. We will also need lime. This is to make sure that your brown sugar doesn't crystallize. We also need two saucepans. The process that I will show you today is a three-step process. First step is to make the caramel. Second step is to dissolve the brown sugar in water. And the third step is to mix them together and simmer them until you reach the desired consistency. Take a look at the ingredients that we will need. One cup of regular brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, half a cup of water to match with the white sugar, and also half a cup of water to match with our brown sugar. We will use the whisk and also a lemon juicer. Into the saucepan let's put our white sugar. We're using white sugar to make sure we see the exact amber color that we are looking for. And then we add our half a cup of plain water. Give it a whisk to dissolve the sugar a little bit before you actually put it on the hob. Turn the heat and let's put our saucepan on the hob. As you see your sugar is starting to boil, turn the heat to medium. Common mistake number one is that during the caramelization process, you stir the mixture. Do not stir the mixture or there's a danger of it crystallizing. So if you need to, you just give it a light swirl. I'm going to bring my other half cup to boil to dissolve my brown sugar. All you have to do here is to wait for the water to boil and then turn off the heat, put your brown sugar in and dissolve in hot water. Note that there is no heat. All I'm doing here is to make sure that the sugar is dissolved before I actually mix it with my other half. So during this process, you will note that there are crystals on the sides of the pan. Just give it a swirl once in a while, as long as your crystals are not burned. Don't worry about it. You will get a chance to give them all a good stirring when you put the rest of your sugar in. This is the color that I'm looking for. So at this stage, I'm going to stop right there and add the rest of my sugar in. Now, if you use brown sugar for the caramelization process, chances are that you might not be able to see whether it's burnt or it's just the color of the sugar. So it helps to put white sugar in for the first process and then put in your remaining brown sugar. And then I'm going to add my half an ounce or one tablespoon of lemon. If you don't have lemon or lime, you can use vinegar. Just one tablespoon. So now I can stir it as much as I want. Make sure I get the sides so that they also get dissolved. Now all we have to do is to wait for about five minutes to let it simmer and then we'll test the consistency of our sugar syrup then. Let's put the lid on. This after five minutes. So my sugar syrup is looking like it is slowly dripping from the spoon so I'm going to turn off the heat and then let's wait for it to cool down put the lid on that's it leave it to cool down and then we'll check the consistency later so there you go it is in that nice and thick consistency 
and I'm going to put it in my sauce dispenser. Mmm, tastes like honey. I love the taste of the lemon with it. So it gives it just a little bit of an extra flavor. Yum. I hope that you can try this recipe at home and see whether your sugar syrup no longer crystallizes. Thank you for watching and ciao for now.